just brought our first sap away for the season. Uh, I was looking on, I still have the list of from last year when I brought sap. So the last day that I brought sap last year was April 5th. Today is the first day I'm bringing sap, so it's quite a change. Now, we did boil down a little bit in the house here already, but uh, not that much. I, we had 125, I think, bales last year by April 5th. April 5th being our last day. And so now I've brought nine bales away and we probably cooked, I don't know, maybe about nine or 10 bales here at home already. So quite a difference. Hopefully it'll run for a while yet. We're going to the bush right now. I'm gonna go uh, collect some sap, see how much is out there. So I just emptied these. This one's got a lump of ice, so I can't get the lid shut. I had just emptied these at the Amish. And uh, these are all full, two, four, six, seven. Waylon's got one full one back there and he's working on one right there. He's got a half one there. And uh, still got lots to go. No, this bale's tipped over, that's not much good. We got in here, now we, we hardly ever seen a deer on this place. I've seen one in this maple bush once, a baby deer, actually not an adult. Uh, the first year we were here, when I found this place, this um, this bush. I took the kids in here and Anissa in here and then uh, we almost stepped on this baby all of a sudden it took out like a rocket. Anyway, coming in here now, there was eight deer. We come in from that side, there was eight of them that we spooked out of there, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if they've knocked over some of these pails. Like this one here. Well, that one I think I just set wrong because I just emptied it. So anyway, we've gone through and we've emptied a good chunk of them. We have 100 taps this year. Last year, I think we only had about 70 maybe. So we, uh, the, the bag I bought last year of taps was 100. We put them all in this year. So we should get significantly more. I don't know exactly what the ratio would be. But uh, here and there, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's some pails there. Anyway, we got them. And there's still more trees I could tap. I think there's probably still another 20 trees-ish that I could tap. Some of them big enough for, for two taps. So we could probably run 130 taps here-ish, uh, which is considerable, I think. Now, I don't know the exact ratio. I'd looked it up once upon a time, and I think it was like 40 liters of sap per tap, which uh, 40 to one, look at that sunshine, beauty. Um, which the ratio, I think, is 40 to one as well, so you'd get roughly one liter of syrup per tap. So from 100 taps, we should get 100 liters of syrup. Uh, and we, we only get half of that, I guess. Half of it goes to the Amish for the work. Uh, like it's a lot of work cooking it down, a lot of time spent standing there, a lot of firewood. And they have the equipment too, right? So, so half of the syrup goes to them in payment for cooking it, and we get the other half. So we should end up with about 50 liters of syrup out of the deal. So it's pretty cool, but it's a lot of stuff to haul. So I gotta go get more pails. I have more empty ones in the house. I just didn't think I needed to take them along right now. Um, but I guess I was wrong. I have another... Three empty pails there, I think. And I'm not even sure if that'll be enough. And then we'll have to bring this right away to the Amish again so that we're ready for tomorrow. This week here, this whole week, I think is going to be an amazing week for um, for sap running. And like I said, i got a long way to catch up because I've only brought nine pails away. So if I fill all the pails, I guess I'll have another 12 today. There'll be 21 pails today. But I'm pretty sure it was like 125 or something like that pails we did last year. So we've got some catch up to play. Van's a wee bit full. <laughs> we brought nine away before. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve now. If I did my math right, bring them away. Looks like we got guards at the gate. Who goes there? Anyway, I'm supposed to test this for sugar content. So you fill this bucket full of the stuff you're bringing, and then the number shows the content. So around here, I guess it ranges anywhere from uh, three and a half, two and a half. So I'm right on the money there. It looks like it's sitting at just a hair over three. So we're bringing it all here. We throw it in these milk tanks. Eventually, when they're full, they'll cook it all down on that thing. Same as last year. Hopefully, I'll get some footage of that again this year. So anyway, dumping all these pails. Into the tank. What's that, sir? We can put a thing on his tail too. Oh, you have to dock. Oh my, that's a long tail. Now's the time to do it. Yeah. They always have long tails. Yep, they do. 
Now he didn't dock his unless they were keeping them, but I figured he might have dock them. I've never done that. I'm waiting for her to ram you. <laughs> get away from my baby. My baby goats are just as cute. Maybe he's all yellow looking. Yeah. Yeah. The tail is a twitching. <laughs> it is a little boy, eh? Yeah. yeah. Hey. There's one other one that's massive. You think it'll have another one yet or not? Oh no. I love that little tail just going. Hey? At least it's up high. Yeah. Well, the middle is where the bales go. We should take some of this hay west and dump it in the corner here. Make it a little drier there, too. Well, he's not going to have much luck doing that. He's a healthy little calf, isn't he? Should put him in the hutch? Do we have an empty hutch? No. You could take Hazel's pen apart. apart. You see there's a lot of grain in there. A lot of grain in the pen? Underneath where the ring is. Oh, well, that's fine. The chickens will eat that, won't they? Could he have the whole pen? Oops. Hey? Could he have all of Hazel's pen? Oh, he could, yeah, I guess. The yep. ones are frozen shut, or I guess not anymore. <laughs> yeah, that'll be thought of now. We've got to clean all those out, too. He's kind of annoying in there, though, isn't he? Mm -hmm. But I'd be hurt, worried he's going to... Step on all the Yeah, he could hurt the little little lamb. So let's pull him out of there right now, and then we'll move him. Yeah, there he is in his new little home. That was Hazel's pen. Check out his sleeping quarters. Normally speaking, they just get one, but Hazel's big enough that I didn't want her crammed in, so we gave her this extra area. All our bikes, unfortunately, are still frozen here. Hopefully they uh, thaw out soon we can get them out. There's three calves waiting that's been feeding back there. They're just about ready to be weaned. Life on the farm. Yeah, what's 2,000 plus 2,000? Um, I know what. There's only a little bit left of the hat. <laughs> think it's getting tighter? What's two thousand plus two thousand? Um, four. Four what? Four thousand. Yep. What is five plus five? Um, five plus five, six. Nope. You had Seven. five of them, and you had five more. Ten. Ten. And what is ten plus ten? <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> What's no, twenty? Yeah, because ten plus ten is twenty. Yeah, and what's twenty plus twenty? Ten plus twenty. Okay. You two plus two. What's two plus two? Um, I know. Two. two plus two. There's two of them. Yeah, it's two. starting to get tighter. Keep going. Hey. Eh? So who's smarter, Wade or Eli? Who's smarter? <laughs> but don't even remember because you're not telling me anymore. Oh, that's the only way you can do it. <laughs> so are you smarter than him? A <laughs> little bit, right? You're a little bit smarter? <laughs> it's getting tighter. Like it, it must, You must be getting smarter. Right? Hey?